So uh, here's a quick introduction video on the TBS Gemini. Uh, we've just had our first delivery today, um, so we thought we'd give everyone a quick preview um, for anyone else's basically. So just open her up. So first thing you notice uh, is this nice case. Uh, we weren't expecting this, so it's quite a nice surprise. Um, it's got a nice zip, a nice colours, feels fairly sturdy and weather resistant, so that's a nice feature, nice car handle on top, feels nice and sturdy. It's a nice little feature. So um, let's go ahead and open up the case. So this is as it was uh, when it was delivered from TBS. So it's going to open her up. So first thing you notice, TBS LiPo. Uh, this is the standard uh, 3S 1700 milliamp. Um, we've got the replacement canopy for the bottom. Uh, Mersion RC sparrow net antennas, we weren't expecting these either, so that's also quite a nice addition. Prop accessories, and the aircraft itself, as well as the bottom canopy. Uh, this one's for the Mobius with the hole um, for, for, for the lens. So I'm just going to remove the case. So, first thing you notice. Uh, is obviously it's hexacopter, which is quite nice to see in the mini quad format. Um, the TBS motors are the 2100 kV, and they feel really nice, really nice quality motor on there. Uh, you flip it upside down, you've got the Mobius mount, which is vibration isolated, using the uh, familiar TBS Pro um, bobbins, so they look nice. And the motors are plugged in using these Molex connectors here, which is also quite a nice feature. So I'm going to uh, pull the canopy off and give you a look inside. So as you can see, it's all nicely laid out inside. Um, we've got the TBS camera up front, uh, the TBS core, uh, the six ASCs, and then the TBS flight controller on the back. Um, so it's really a nice layout, as you'd expect from TBS. Uh, everything's well thought out. Uh, much like the TBS uh, Discovery Pro and the, the original Discovery as well. Uh, so yeah, we're impressed with that. Um, so just have a look at the detail on the arms. Obviously, the Gemini is one of the first multi-rotors with the uh, forward tilting tilting motors. Um, the arms feel quite sturdy. It's fairly, fairly strong and rigid. Um, you can see the PCB tracks inside the frame here for the motors with the connectors on for the, for the motors which is nice. Uh, nice opening for the camera at the front as well as the Mobius mount as mentioned before. Um, so yeah I'll just have a quick measure up I think of the of the actual thickness of the material. So you can see here uh, are at three point 2.99 millimeters, so three mil thick on the arms. That looks pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to bear with me a moment. I'm just going to get a get a battery and show you how that works. So this is the standard 3S, which comes with the kit. Uh, as I mentioned before, 1700 milliamps. It's quite, um, first thing you notice, it's quite a different shape to what we're used to. Uh, it's quite wide, feels quite dense, uh, but you also may notice it is a tattoo battery, so a legendary Gen Zase brand. Um, we love Gen Zase batteries, they are the best we've tried, um, and they're reliable as well, which is nice. So basically, this just slits and, uh, sits in the bottom using the elastic band here, which is provided, sits in there. GST connector on top, all plugs in, all good to go. Um, next thing you might ask is how do you connect the receiver? Um, you see here on this port here, uh, that's a PPM input. So TBS supply with a PPM cable to go straight into your PPM output on your receiver, and you're good to go. So we're going to imagine for a second that the receiver's in and we're ready to put the canopy on. So slide your canopy over the top over the VTX mount, second layer 
and antenna on top. That's nice and sturdy. Nothing to worry about there. And underneath the bottom piece simply attaches onto the bottom using these small magnets on the side. Um, it, d it is held fairly strong once the magnets are in place. So there shouldn't be much danger of that coming off. And then obviously it sits quite nicely down. Fairly stable for when you're coming in for a landing. Um, another quite nice feature as well um, is that the arms have the orientation of the motor on them. Which means that you're not going to get confused when you're putting props on. Um, so obviously you've got here anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti and then clockwise again on a six motor. Um, so yeah, so yeah, basically it's just a quick over overview of the product. Um, we haven't had a chance to test fly one yet. The weather's not great here in the UK, up in Yorkshire, ProFlight UK in Yorkshire. So what can you expect? There you go. Um, so yeah, if we're looking to looking to uh, well the first batch is already sold out um, so we're waiting on the next batch to come in but like we say we thought we'd give you a nice quick preview on what's to come so yeah thanks for watching uh, thank please check out uh, www.proflightuk.co.uk to get any more info on the website uh, join us on Facebook Proflight UK uh, it's Twitter so it's twitter twitter.com forward slash Proflight UK and Instagram as well um, for all our latest updates so yeah, thanks for watching, uh, like, comment and subscribe, thanks a lot, cheers.